everyone. Thank you for joining us. October is a Breast Cancer Awareness Month, an annual campaign to increase awareness of the disease. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is an annual international health campaign organized by major breast cancer charities every October to increase awareness of the disease and to raise funds for research into its cause, prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and cure. Keeping this campaign in mind, in today's webinar, we will focus on microwave imaging technique, understanding key elements in MRI, and how an electromagnetic simulation product like HFWorks for SOLIDWORKS can contribute in early detection and treatment of the disease. Before discussing today's agenda, let me introduce us. My name is Cal and I handle sales and marketing division of our company. My colleague Nasreen Selmi is working as a senior application engineer in EMWorks and has extensive knowledge in high frequency electromagnetics and multiphysics analysis. She will be delivering the technical part of today's webinar. Before moving on, I would like to highlight few points. During this course of presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat window to type in your questions. We will answer them at the end of the presentation or will reply to you via emails. A webinar recording link will be sent to all the registrants in few days. Our agenda for today is following. I will briefly talk about our company EMWorks, where we are located and what products we offer. Then my colleague will present the technical part of this webinar. At the end of the technical presentation, I will talk about various learning resources offered by EMWorks for its software users. Now let us take a quick overview on our company EMWorks. We offer 3D and 2D electromagnetic simulation software as an add-in tool for SOLIDWORKS and Autodesk Inventor 3D CAD. Our company was founded in the year 2000. We have a vast sales network in the form of two offices and a global reseller channel. We provide our solutions and services directly or through a reseller in America, Europe, and Asia Pacific region. Our company has a strong research and development team with years of experience in the field of electromagnetics. Our products are gold certified by Dassault System SOLIDWORKS Corporation since the year 2008. As you can see on the screen, we have two office locations. Our headquarters is in Montreal, Canada, and we have another office in Germany. Now let us take a quick overview on the products offered by EMWorks. We offer four products with various add-ons covering a wide frequency range. Our first product is called EMS, which is used for electric and magnetic field modeling for low frequency applications. It covers many applications like insulators, cables, bus bars, permanent magnets, circuit breakers, transformers, and electrical machines. Our second product is called HFWorks, which is used for electromagnetic simulation of RF, microwave, high frequency and high speed electrical and electronic devices. It covers applications including wide range of antennas, resonators, filters, connectors, and waveguides. Our third product is called EMWorks 2D, which offers static analysis and covers simulation of planar and axisymmetric geometries. Our latest addition is Motor Wizard Tool, which is a template based motor design software. It currently offers analytical and finite element analysis of brushless DC electrical motors. In addition to these solutions, we offer few multiphysics add ons like thermal, motion, linear statics, and circuits. In today's webinar, Nesreen will utilize HFWorks product to model and analyze different configuration of antennas, which are key elements in MRI. Let us briefly touch upon the licensing structure offered by EMWorks. We offer three different programs commercial, academic, and startup. Each program has its own benefits and requirements. Within commercial program, we offer perpetual licenses, while in the rest of the two programs, our licensing structure is annual based. The topic for today's presentation is early stage microwave breast cancer 
detection and treatment using HF works for SOLIDWORKS. Netsreen will give a brief overview on different techniques of diagnosing breast cancer and how microwave imaging is different than other techniques. She will cover capabilities of HFWorks software, showcase how our software can be used for early detection of tumor, and will discuss about radio frequency and microwave ablation treatments. I would now request my colleague Nesreen to take over and present the next part of this presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Kai. Hello and good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us. My name is Nesreen Selmi. I'm a senior application engineer at Electromagnetic Works. In this webinar, we will discover how HFWorks can do full 3D electromagnetic simulation for early stage microwave breast cancer detection and treatment. In today's agenda, we will start with a brief introduction about breast cancer and different techniques used for diagnostic. And then we will move to an overview about our tool HFWorks for SOLIDWORKS. At the end, we will close with designs and simulations. In my presentation, pink pops up everywhere. That's because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In honor of Pink October, our aim is to spread awareness and raise attention to this severe disorder. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women. One in eight women will develop this disease during their life. In the U.S. this year, there will be an estimated 42,170 women will die from breast cancer. The International Agency for Research on Cancer predicts that the number of breast cancer cases will grow by 63% worldwide by 2040. To downsize the risks of breast cancer mortality, we should diagnose the appearance of malignant tissue in healthy tissue and treat the severe illness in an early stage. Importantly, breast cancer is easier to be treated successfully if it was found early. Many medical instruments are available for breast cancer detection, such as X-ray mammography, ultrasound, and MRI. X-ray mammography uses low energy X-rays to create images of the breast. It is commonly used for early breast cancer diagnosis. Ultrasound technique uses sound waves to see internal body structure. Ultrasound has low resolution and does not distinguish between malignant and benign. It is mostly used as a secondary technique. MRI or magnetic resonance imaging uses radio waves and strong magnetic fields to make images of the inside body. This method uses the amount of absorption energy of different types of, of tissue. But this method still have some disadvantages like the high price. So microwave imaging is developed for early levels levels detection, microwave imaging technique is based on the transmission of electromagnetic waves from the transmitter antenna on the breast surface. So the antenna here is the key element in the microwave imaging system. To design and study any type of antenna, you need an electromagnetic simulator. Our company EMWorks offers a high-frequency simulation product to design antennas known as HFWorks for SOLIDWORKS. Let's have a quick overview on HFWorks. HFWorks is a full-wave 3D electromagnetic simulation package. It is basically used for passive structure. It solves Maxwell's equations using the frequency domain finite element technique. It covers a wide range of frequencies. It covers radio frequencies, microwave, millimeter wave, and beyond. 
It comes with a built-in electrothermal analysis. One of the key features of HF works that it does run inside solid works, the number one cap tool in the market. It's a gold certified adenine. HF works solves both excited structures, so you can do as parameter antennas or time domain reflectometry, and excitation free, so you can do resonance or model solution in 2D. In case if you are doing a port solution or three-dimensional resonance structures to find resonant modes. And underneath that, there is a thermal and thermal structural coupling that allows you to do the multi-physics and there is also a useful feature which is power handling that offers you the capability to see the risks of breakdown that may happen inside the design. Let's see how these capabilities are packaged inside HFWorks. So HFWorks offers four types of studies. Studies are type of simulation. So you can simulate antenna to study antenna behavior as parameter to study the frequency response of any passive structure. Time domain reflectometry to get impedance versus time response and examine your structure in time domain. And finally, resonance to calculate the resonance frequency, so-called eigenfrequency, and its correspond electric and magnetic field distribution. And now, before moving to the designs and simulations, let's go through a quick exploration of HFWorks interface inside SOLIDWORKS and check HFWorks main features. Here you can see inside SOLIDWORKS I have built this model where I have actually a model of breast phantom and I have an antenna model. So this is an assembly inside SOLIDWORKS. You will notice here what I mentioned earlier, HFWORKS is an embedded product inside SOLIDWORKS. It's an add-in inside it. As we can see in the add-ins window, you can check here to easily add HFWorks. Once it's added, HFWorks will share with SOLIDWORKS multiple features that allows the user to create and work on the CAD design and then do electromagnetic simulation within the same interface. So HFWorks is the tab here and it's also accessible through the tools menu under EMWorks products. In HFWorks, every simulation is a study. Under the name of our assembly, there are different configurations. So we, ha we have here antennas as parameter, time domain reflectometry, and resonance. So if you want to study this antenna, for example, just create an antenna study. In this case, we are interested in an antenna simulation. You can name the study after selecting the study type. Choose the accuracy, normal or high accuracy. You can also use the parameterization feature to create a parametric study. For example, here, you can parameterize the depth of tumor and run multiple analysis automatically and, and then examine the results and pick the optimal one. Port solution only allows you to get only 2D port solution and the other option save 3D field data to add 3D field results. Then enter the frequency settings. The settings includes the frequency range as well as the choice between solving the model for all frequencies in a discrete sweep and using a reduced order model in a fast sweep. Under the meshing tab, you can choose the meshing technique. 
either it's manual or adaptive and enter meshing parameters. I also want to highlight here what I mentioned about the thermal coupling. So if you want to do thermal coupling, you just turn on the thermal coupling feature. After defining all study properties, the process of simulation is on three steps. The first step in analyzing the antenna is to apply material to all of the bodies used. HFWorks has an extensive material library. By selecting the material, electrical parameters such as permittivity, permeability, and conductivity will be applied to the body. When the materials are defined, we have to apply the boundary conditions and excitations. In this antenna case, the radiation boundary have to be applied on the outer faces of the air part that surrounds the structure. The last step before running the analysis is creating the finite element mesh. So you can apply mesh controls to define, to refine the mesh on the sensitive areas. Once the mesh is created, you can review the mesh from the outside or use a 3D plot to view the mesh elements from the inside. After running the study, you can check your results, electric field intensities and magnetic field, and also as parameter plots. Then, you can add a coupling case. HFWorks allows you to perform coupled multiphysics simulations. It offers you a coherent environment where you can simultaneously study the electrical and thermal behavior of your high-frequency design, right on the same model, with one, si one single finite element mesh. So, in addition to the plethora electrical and electronic design parameter, you can also obtain the temperature, temperature gradient, and heat flux of your design due to the conductor and the electric losses. And now, we are going to check the results obtained after simulation. My antenna consists of a basic rectangular inset fed microstrip patch antenna that resonates at 2.45 GHz. The material used is FR4 for antenna design. Planar type designs are preferred for microwave imaging as the antenna can be placed directly on the target. The simulated results of return loss and DSWR of the antenna are illustrated in this figure. The antenna realizes a return loss below minus 10 dB between 2.4 GHz and 2.46 GHz, and it resonates at 2.44 GHz. The VSWR is less than 2 at 2.45 GHz, which indicates that the antenna have a good match. In my simulation, the breast phantom model consists of skin and healthy tissues. Glandular part is ignored to reduce system complication. As shown in the following plots, and when comparing electric and magnetic field intensities for breast with and without tumor, we note that during the presence of tumor there is an increase in the maximum values. Difference between values of breast structures with and without tumor are clearly shown, considering thus alterations in electric and magnetic intensities. Incidence of tumor in the breast structure can be detected. HFWorks allows also to analyze thermal behavior with a post-processing thermal coupling. We will study this antenna 
to investigate its thermal behavior by the detection of tissue temperature when an antenna excitation power of 1 milliwatt is used. The simulation revealed the following results of the temperature, distribution and heat flux in the breast with and without tumor. The maximum temperature of the breast skin for the case of breast with tumor is 57.94 Celsius and for breast without tumor is 52.39 Celsius. As seen here, the presence of the tumor increases the temperature. This raise in temperature does not necessarily kill the cells, but it damages the cells enough to make them more sensitive to radiotherapy or chemotherapy. Side effects caused by radiotherapy and chemotherapy can be minimized as smaller doses are needed to achieve the same level of damage to the malignant cells. Different types of antennas are used to heat locally the tumor tissue inside the breast. For the cancer treatment, generally antenna probes are used. HFWorks can also study the types of antennas by using the thermal solver. As shown in this case, we study a microwave ablation case based on thermal therapies which is an attractive solution for large soft tissues within short treatment period. It's suitable for destroying tumors in different biological tissues. The antenna probe produces rapid heat generation to locally heat the thing. And now I would like to move on to the other example that presents a circular intra-wideband array antenna. Array antennas are widely used for breast cancer detection. An antenna array is a set of multiple connected antennas which work together as a single antenna. So the design strategy here is to start with a basic single antenna element that operates at 6 GHz. It consists of a P-shaped slot radiator etched out of the ground plane on one side of the electric closure substrate. HFOX is used to investigate and study this antenna. The first curve shows the return loss of the antenna. It can be seen from the figure that the antenna provides a good performance in, in terms of signal bandwidth. The antenna realizes a return loss below minus 10 dB between 4.6 GHz and 8.7 GHz and the antenna realizes a gain of 2 dB. Inside SOLIDWORKS, we will use this antenna element for circular array construction and we will model the breast phantom to be placed inside the array. The breast phantom consists of a 2 mm thick layer of skin and 88 mm diameter of the breast and a circular glandular in which the cancerous tumor is inserted. Inside SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to show you how to build this model and work with multiple configurations and do simulations. So we will have a case where we will consider an antenna with a normal breast and what happens if a tumor is inserted inside the breast glandular. So now I'm going to switch to the model inside SOLIDWORKS. To build the array, I used this nice feature inside SOLIDWORKS, circular pattern that allows me to create multiple instances of a single antenna element. So here the array is formed by 16 antennas placed equidistantly around, around the breast phantom. This is an assembly inside SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS offers the ability to create different configurations. So, you can see here, I have two configurations. I have a configuration for the breast without glandular and tumor. What is shown now is the active configuration, so that's my current configuration. If I want to see an alternative configuration, always within the same design, I can just 
show the second configuration and here the glandular and tumor are added inside the breast And now we're going to use HF works to study the effect of tumor on results. As you can see here, I have two studies. Each one belongs to a configuration. The first one belongs to the configuration without the glandular and tumor, and the other one belongs to the other configuration with glandular and tumor. The study of this antenna is based on the electric field intensity and SIR results. SIR or specific absorption rate presents a measure of the rate at which energy is absorbed per unit mass by human body when exposed to an RF electromagnetic field. There is a difference between SIR maximum values. The difference inside the breast tissues without and with tumor are important to detect the presence of the tumor. So we can identify the breast tumor location based on SIR maximum value. Since breast tumor will be detected due to the dielectric properties that are large difference between normal breast tissue and malignant tissue. So we can check here the coordinates of maximum SIR value and there the tumor is inserted. Also, there is an increase of electric, electric field intensity due to the presence of the tumor. To summarize, through this webinar, we try to show you our full wave 3D electromagnetic solver HFworks and its main capabilities, including multi configuration, and how we can study and investigate different result types such as electric field intensity magnetic field intensity, SIR, and also thermal results. Thank you for your attention. And I hand over the screen again to my colleague, Ka. Thank you, Nesreen. To refresh our memory, let us take a quick overview on HFWorks modules and add-ons. HFWorks software offers four modules, antennas, as parameters, resonance and time domain reflectometry. In addition, we offer various additional features like thermal analysis, parametrization and capabilities such as eCAD import and power handling. To get information on the software pricing, you can connect with me after this webinar. This slide represents a small subset of capabilities available in our HFWorks software product. To simulate an antenna problem and analyze the thermal behavior, three capabilities are highlighted and utilized in the technical presentation you saw earlier. Number one, antennas module. This module can help a user to validate existing or new antenna designs and study various design issues such as vector frequency response, radiation pattern, resonant frequency, fidelity, etc. Different antenna types like dipole, broadband, monopole, loop, helical, wire, patch, etc. can be analyzed. Number two, multi configuration support. This capability of SolidWorks enables users to maintain multiple versions of a part or an assembly in a single file. The differences between configurations are established by changing dimension values, suppressing features, and changing other parameters. Number three, thermal analysis. Through this multi-physics add-on, you can calculate temperature distribution, temperature gradient, and heat flux in your model. Now let us do a quick recap on EMWorks products and their related applications. We can divide EMWorks offerings into two categories, applications related to low frequency simulation and applications related to high frequency simulation. Within low frequency category, we offer three products, EMS 3D, EMWorks 2D, and Motor Wizard. These products can be used to design and simulate applications like cables, insulators, bus bars, solenoids, magnet arrays, eddy current braking systems, wireless charging devices, transformers, and electrical machines. Within high frequency category, we offer one product, HFWorks. 
This product can be used to design and simulate high frequency applications like antennas, waveguides, filters, resonators, and connectors. EMWorks offers various free learning resources. With the software purchase or an evaluation license, users can access the demo viewer section of the software, through which they can access many predefined model examples and tutorials. In addition, we post application notes, blogs, and videos on our webpage and social media channels regularly. We also offer paid customized training sessions to all the users of EMWorks software. I encourage everyone to try our software and experience its capabilities. Upon trial request and user qualification, we offer two weeks of free access to the limited version of the software. In this limited version, users can access many predefined model examples and tutorials to learn about our tool. To request for a trial license, visit our webpage emworks.com. Go to our contact us page, fill in your information, and submit your request. One of our representatives will reach out to you soon. Early detection of the disease plays an important role for successful treatment. Thus, it is important to educate ourselves of its cause, prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and cure. We are coming to the end of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but the message of hope, strength, and education continues all year long. Once again, I would like to thank you all on behalf of EMWorks for participating in this webinar.